What more can you tell us about what this potential fraud might be? So uh, the news is just coming across the wire. A quick conversation with our legal expert, Elliot Stein, uh, kind of confirms that this is really uh, relates to a previous story. But I think what might be new here is the fact that they're looking at was there a role played by senior management? So we already knew that there was an investigation in terms of some documents being altered. And the question is, who knew about it? How high up does it go? Uh, so the significance there is really, is there more of a systemic issue? Now, Wells Fargo hasn't immediately responded excuse me. to a request for comment. We did check in with Wells Fargo, and I presume at some point Wells Fargo will be responding. But at this point, I mean, scandal number what is this? This is, I mean, Wells Fargo has had so many sort of scandals, and, and, and we're not saying that this is true, but if the Justice Department is looking into it, there's something there, right? Yeah, so again, I think the, the issue isn't necessarily new. It's sort of the level that they're looking at that, that's a little bit new, and uh, it has been a couple of years now. It was September of 2016 when sort of the first announcement was made uh, about some of the issues at the company, and since then, the company has really done a lot to get the issues behind it, but these things do tend to have a long tail. On the positive side of things, uh, they did settle the one uh, big lawsuit that was outstanding related to the U.S. residential mortgage-backed securities issues. Uh, again, that relates to, to the, the crisis. And so I think getting that behind them is a major step, but you are going to see, I think, this lingering fallout. Um, with, the, with the next, I guess, uh, potential risk being what happens around elections and is there some noise around that. So related to this particular investigation, we know that back in May, somebody told us that the company had found that employees had added information to internal customer records without the client's knowledge. I mean, on the scale of things that are bad, how bad is this? Well, the, question, the key question really relates to, is it a few employees that, that sort of acted on their own or uh, you know how high up did the knowledge go? So was management involved? Was senior management involved? And I think that would be the bigger issue.